Chosen Ones, Eight Reasons Why People Might Dislike You Have you ever pondered the curious phenomenon of why certain exceptional individuals seem to attract an unusual amount of negativity? Today, we embark on a journey to explore this intriguing question. From their remarkable intelligence to their exceptional kindness or talent, those who stand out in society often find themselves facing an onslaught of criticism and hate. But why does this occur? Join me as we delve into the depths of human psychology to unravel the underlying reasons behind why some people harbor such animosity toward those who shine brightly. We'll navigate through the concept of spirit and how your unique energy pattern can sometimes provoke negative reactions in others. Amidst the intricate tapestry of human interactions, individuals grappling with their own internal conflicts may find themselves feeling threatened by your positive energy. Your radiance might inadvertently expose their darkness, triggering feelings of resentment and hostility. So, if you've ever questioned why certain individuals seem to harbor inexplicable dislike toward you, this exploration is tailored just for you. Let's shed light on the complexities of human behavior and understand why your spirit may stir discomfort in their darkness. Remember, it's not about you, it's about their own inner struggles. First point, empathy and being real. People who are seen as chosen often naturally show empathy and authenticity. They're real, they don't put on a show or hide their true selves. This genuine vibe can make them stand out, earning both admiration and jealousy. According to Canon, this honesty comes from a long journey of spiritual growth, making these chosen ones authentic and captivating. But not everyone appreciates this. Some folks might feel uncomfortable or even resentful because they're not as real as the chosen ones. Seeing someone being true to themselves can shine a light on their own insecurities or shortcomings, making them feel threatened. Second point, a target for negativity. Just being labeled as chosen can attract negativity from others. Some people might feel threatened by the idea that someone has a special purpose or a mission in life. In many spiritual beliefs, those with big destinies face big challenges including dealing with all the negativity others throw at them. It's like they become magnets for other people's anger, jealousy and frustration. This negativity often comes from others feeling insecure or worried that not living up to their potential. So, the chosen ones not only carry the weight of their own missions, but also the emotional baggage of those who are projecting their issues onto them. Third point, tapping into inner power. When someone starts realizing their inner strength and potential, it can stir up some jealousy from others. As they connect with their true selves and unlock their hidden abilities, they start vibrating at a higher frequency. It's like they're shining brighter, radiating authenticity and purpose. But not everyone's ready for that. Some folks prefer to stay in their comfort zones and avoid change. So when they see someone else stepping into their power and growing spiritually, it can make them feel uneasy. They might feel like they're being left behind or that they're not living up to their own potential. This discomfort can lead to resentment, especially if they misunderstand the person's success as a judgment on their own choices. Fourth point, having a powerful presence. People who are seen as chosen often have a presence that's hard to ignore. They might give off a vibe of peace, confidence, or positive energy that leaves a lasting impression on those around them. In spiritual terms, it's like they're in tune with something deeper shining a light on their inner selves. But for some people who aren't as sure of themselves or who are struggling spiritually, seeing someone else glow like that can be tough. Instead of feeling inspired to find their own inner light, they might feel overshadowed by the chosen one's radiance. This can lead to envy and resentment as they project their own insecurities onto the person who seems to have it all figured out. Fifth point, past baggage and misunderstandings. Sometimes, people's past lives can stir up trouble in the present. Dolores Cannon talks about how our souls carry memories and traumas from previous incarnations, which can mess with how we see things now. So, if someone had a bad experience with a chosen one in a past life, they might still hold a grudge, even if they don't realize it. This can lead to misunderstandings or prejudice against chosen ones, based on stuff that happened way back when. Plus, chosen ones often shake things up, challenging the status quo and pushing for change. That can really rub people the wrong way. 
especially if they're stuck in their old habits and don't want to budge. Sixth point, being tough as nails. Chosen ones are known for being tough cookies. They face tough challenges head on, fueled by their deep spiritual beliefs. Instead of just surviving, they thrive, using every setback as a chance to grow. But not everyone can handle that kind of resilience. Some folks might feel intimidated or jealous, seeing someone else power through tough times with grace and faith. It can make them question their own strength or willingness to face challenges. So seeing a chosen one keep on keeping on might stir up some envy or resentment in those who aren't quite as sure of themselves. Seventh point, reflecting inner struggles. The chosen ones unintentionally act as mirrors, showing others their own inner battles and uncertainties. It's not something they do on purpose. It just happens because they're so genuine and transparent about who they are. By staying true to themselves and walking their spiritual paths with determination, they end up highlighting the areas where others feel lacking or unsure about themselves. In spiritual terms, it's like everyone has a light inside them that can shine on both the good and the bad stuff. But when the chosen ones shine their light on the bad stuff, it can make people uncomfortable or afraid to face their own issues. Instead of dealing with their problems, some people might lash out at the chosen ones or even hate them, because it's easier than dealing with what's really going on inside. Plus, the chosen ones often stand out for their integrity and their constant efforts to grow personally and spiritually. This can make others who aren't as introspective feel even more insecure or resentful, like they're being judged just by being around the chosen ones. So, the chosen ones might find themselves misunderstood or rejected by people who are struggling with their own inner demons, even though they're just trying to be true to themselves. Eighth point, shedding light on darkness. The final reason why some people hate the chosen ones is because they bring attention to the darkness around them. See, the chosen ones are all about the light, and that can make the darkness in people and their surroundings stand out even more. This is actually a big part of their spiritual journey. They're here to show people what's not working so they can make changes and grow. Because they're so aligned with the light, the chosen ones shine a spotlight on anything that's not in line with that. And for some people who are stuck in the darkness out of fear or ignorance, that can be really uncomfortable. They might even direct their negativity towards the chosen ones because they're not ready to face their own issues yet. But even though it can be tough, this clash between light and dark is actually an opportunity for everyone involved to grow spiritually. The chosen ones learn to stand strong in the face of negativity, and the people around them get a chance to reflect on their own lives and maybe make some positive changes. So, even though it might not seem like it, the Chosen Ones are actually helping everyone move towards a brighter, more enlightened future. As we come to the end of this video, I want to leave you with some important reflections. It's vital to understand that sometimes, people's actions are not a reflection of who you are, but rather a manifestation of their own inner struggles. Your light might inadvertently highlight their darkness, triggering discomfort or even hostility. Remember, it's not about you. It's about the battles they're fighting within. Despite your best efforts, some individuals may never fully appreciate or understand your brilliance. They're wrestling with their own inner demons, jealousy, fear, insecurity, and more, unaware of the turmoil consuming them. In a healthy society, relationships serve as mirrors, revealing when our inner struggles are taking control. It's crucial to remain discerning and vigilant especially when welcoming new connections into your life. If the insights shared in this video resonate with you, then you are part of a dedicated circle of seekers. Your support empowers me to continue sharing enlightening content that inspires growth and transformation. Consider subscribing to the channel, liking this video, and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Your engagement fuels our community's journey towards greater understanding and enlightenment. Remember, you're never alone on this journey. Together, let's navigate life's complexities with grace and wisdom. Thank you for being an integral part of this community. May your path be illuminated with abundance and blessings beyond measure. And hey, before you go, don't forget to check out the description below for a link to a free book and information about scheduling a one-on-one -on -one consultation. It's an opportunity to dive deeper into these topics and receive personalized guidance on your spiritual journey. 
Until next time, take care and keep shining your light brightly.